Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeff Edmondson. Well, fun fact, April is typically the third driest month we have annually here in Hampton Roads. So we follow the months of November and December where we see a little bit less rain and precipitation in those months. The wettest month that we have throughout the year comes in the summertime, July, and also as we go into August where we see more than five inches of rainfall. This month we typically see around 3.25 inches of rain. However, when you look at this forecast, I don't think you're going to be maybe too, uh, in too much agreement with what those stats are. It seems like it's really been wet lately, and it's also going to be wet in the next couple of days across our area, too. We've seen some rain across our area tonight. Not too much. It's really been very spotty and hit or miss for the south side cities only. We haven't seen any for the peninsula eastern shore. You've been totally dry. You'll see rain tomorrow, though. Right, light rain to moderate showers coming through areas in Virginia Beach right now through the Linwood neighborhood, also Bay Island uh, as we go up shore drive here. Northern Virginia Beach right now, you're seeing the showers. As we travel down to the south, there's been some sprinkles. I kind of hopped over Chesapeake, but there's been a couple of showers over Chesapeake. Also now into Suffolk, Whaleyville, you have some rain. This should move through Suffolk or maybe just clip by your area in downtown Suffolk, but likely pushing right into areas in Portsmouth, Churchland, Bowers Hill. We'll see some of that rain in the Chesapeake, too. So another round of it is coming into the north and the northeast. This is moving about 28 miles an hour to the northeast right now. A couple of showers also across the Outer Banks. We're not going to see any thunderstorms tonight, so no big storms, just a little bit of rain here or there. Temperatures are at 59 degrees in Virginia Beach. We're at 63 in Suffolk right now. The wind tomorrow will be a bit strong. We'll see winds out of the north around 10 to 20 miles an hour during the daytime. There could be some gusts close to 20 miles an hour during the middle of the day. So with the rain that we have and the cool temperatures, it'll be a chilly, wet day with that wind kind of pushing the rain sideways at times. Won't be super fun to be outside tomorrow. 58 degrees will be the temperature in Melfa, 62 for Williamsburg. There's a warm front down to our south. Now, it's not going to make it through our area. What that means is that we're going to stay on the cold side of the storm system, which in a way is actually really good. If we had temperatures in the 70s tomorrow, we could see the severe weather like they're having down to the south in the southern states. So since we're going to stay cool, we'll likely not see the severe weather across the Hampton Road cities. However, that warm air and that energy may push far enough north where we could see some of the stronger cells and storms organizing and developing into the Outer Banks tomorrow during the afternoon or evening. We're going to have to watch for that. Jeremy Wheeler will have updates throughout the morning on that tomorrow and also midday just to see if anything changes with the forecast on that. Hopefully there's enough cool air across the Outer Banks where we don't see the big storms. We don't need that stuff. Tomorrow morning, we start the day with rainfall. We'll see rain at 9 a.m. We'll see rain at 11 a.m. It'll be heavy at times. We'll see rain at 2 p.m. We'll see rain at 4 o'clock. I think you're getting the idea. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. We'll see the rain move out after sunset. And then there's a slight chance we could see a passing shower on Tuesday, too. How much rain are we going to get? Not too much. It's going to be a slow soaking rainfall across our area. So we're not going to get out of control amounts, just about a half an inch to an inch to an inch and a half into North Carolina. Slight chance for rain on Tuesday. Wednesday is dry. All right. But Thursday it rains again, Friday it rains again, Saturday is dry, and Sunday it rains again.